Well, good evening, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm actually on my own, not, but she's under the desk, scrabbling through. It's all right, Abigail, you can get up there. <laughs> Honestly, you can't pay for any decent labour these days. Hey! <laughs> good evening, Abigail. <laughs> Good evening, good evening. And Hello. It's a really hot day today, isn't Very it? Very hot. We're a bit hot in the craft room. We're in Abigail's craft room today. Yay. And uh, we're look, on... Can you come in a bit? Because I look absolutely well, massive. No, I'm just... I'll, 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 I'll back off. Okay. Oh, no, I'll... <laughs> Right, so let's get let's get to it. Let's get down to the business. Right, so this is an hour of oh no, forty five minutes. You poor things of uh, fun and frolics with um, Abigail and myself, and we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, die cutting and stitching and uh, just Hi, Lindsay. generally having. Um, Can you read that? A bit of a chat. No. Okay. I've got my phone ready to, to have uh, nearer to have me. Have you shared the live stream? Oh. Bit of housekeeping. Mum's going to share the live stream you on say, her page. You say that, Abigail. <laughs> You might have to do it for me. Okay. There it is. Look. Share. Share. One moment, everybody. Share to page. And so um, I have to change it. Yep. To sew with Lizzie. Yep. Post. And post. Yay. <laughs> so, Hi, Karen. <laughs> so here we are. And um, yes, it's been a splendid day. But I've been really looking forward to tonight to do some stitching me with too. Abby. We don't do this very often, do we? No. And not in this format because we are cameramanless. Yes. Hi Heather, hi Maria, hi Margaret. Can I just say, John did volunteer before there's any ructions back <laughs> back at home, back at the ranch, because I told him to watch with uh, on so with Abigail and and I and he, yes, he he was asked under bribery this morning <laughs> with a cup of coffee and he said he would. But anyway, look. Hi before, Sue, Lisa, Sarah. Before we go on, we've got a bit of a giveaway. Got a giveaway, this giveaway, hour. giveaway. <laughs> We need like a giveaway song. <laughs> no. So um, you're going to see this backwards. It's one of those things with, with Facebook. Unless we do it the other way around, everything yes. is backwards. So I do apologise. Yes. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. We, when technology has improved in our department, mm -hmm. then we will um, make sure it's the other way around. Anyway, mm -hmm. so um, what it is, we've got a, a CD to give away. Now, on its own, you might think, CD? We're stitchers. Now, I know <laughs> it's difficult to see. <laughs> We need a mirror and show the mirror version. Yeah, or oh, I could have printed it out if I'd had any sense. But it still would have been back to front. Well, anyway. So, I could have flipped it. Okay. I can do that. Anyway, we've got a CD to give away. Now, okay, you might say to yourselves, but we're stitches, we don't use CDs. We don't. But there's new products being launched next Sunday. I'm launching, you're taking over, aren't you? Yes. And it's all to do with embroidery. So on this CD is over 250 images of beautiful pieces of embroidery. And I'm going to do a quick, um, just a quick show. I'm going to tell you as we go. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Before, <laughs> before I carry on um it, you can resize everything so this is one flower out of over 250 images yes. and you can see that's been resized several times yes. okay but what are we printing on so what oh she's so clever should i give it to you to hold up oh, yeah. again it's back to front i'm so sorry if it was in my oh. craft room it'd be the right way around wash away webbing <laughs> it's wash away webbing which means that you print straight from your um cd on t well i'm going to show you the technique yes um because there is a definite technique to yes. it and it's so easy you're not going to believe it but it's on wash you print onto the wash away webbing just a small piece of it and then you stick that onto your fabric and hey presto you can start embroidering now i've only printed out a few so i'm just going to whiz through these really really quickly so you can see uh, the potential there's about five or six on a page so you can see what they're going to look like and these are the sort of <laughs> embroideries that you'll be able to do and we've got, got a special tool as well it's so uncouth isn't it i we've love got those lots of baby things aren't they gorgeous um, lots of baby things, lots of celebrations, there's Cake. floral as well. I could, Like I say, I couldn't print them all out, there's so many. But you can shrink them, yes. make them larger. Yes, look at that. <laughs> join, can you, you join more onto each? Yes, um, and there's, yes, there's a definite way of doing that, and I'm going to talk to you about that all next Sunday. But, Hi, Gwen. Um, but that's just the one particular flower. I mean, I've only just roughly resized it. That's how it would print out, so that's what you would embroider. So free motion, hand stitching, 
um, we've got a special tool as well. I'm not going to give any games away with that, as it's going to be a surprise. A surprise, surprise. <laughs> but oh, anyway, so, so that's the giveaway for this this little um, little live Facebook, and um, we'll pick a name tomorrow. I'll I'll, um, I'll get perhaps one of the grandchildren to pick a name tomorrow, and uh, we will um, let you know who's won that. So that's really exciting. It is. I'm just sorry. I'm just. Are you sorting me? Oh, I've closed now. it. I've closed it. Okay. No, they have, we haven't got oh, no, to it on there. Um, <laughs> right, so what are we doing, Mum? So you're going to be making a little bag for a scooter. I am. Can you, because I can do some bits while you're cutting and what have you, but you're going to be using one of the bag dies, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to be using a hobo bag die, um, and I'm doing it um, very different to as it's been shown before, and there's no... Um, I've never seen this before with the bag dies, so I thought it would be something fun to do. Yes. Um, for, Sorry, oh, for a moment, moment. please. There's no, uh, <laughs> it's fun for the kids. Um, um, oh, yeah, you're watching. It just came up with you're watching. Yes, I, well, I am watching. Anyway. Oh, I see Liz Curtis yeah. is watching. Yeah. That's right. handy. Also, look what I've got. Look what I had delivered. Oh, yes. Aren't they super? I love them. I really, I've, do you know what, I think they're going to keep everything really neat and that's what we like as yes. crafters. Well, we try really hard to be neat, don't we? You. So, you. Oh, you're allowed to use new plates, Abigail. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I say so. Because you saved them right. especially. I'm going to cut fleece. I'm going to... Hi Sally, hi Cindy. Doreen, yes, we are live now. Yes. We are. You can tell because we're making a right big zero. I've lost my scissors already. Oh, here we are, come here, come here. We were kind of prepared. And, and also, we've had to move the table back, so everything is cramped behind us, where we normally have a bit more space than this. Um, but, any, anywho, I'm going to cut out, from the fleece is my outer, so I'm going to do um, back and front. I'm not doing a flap, um, and I'm going to do a strip as well, which is going to hold some rope. I know, I know. We make you giggle. Hmm. <laughs> It's not intentional, that's the trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it is, because we do have a bit of a laugh. We do. Yeah. And you've got to. Uh, you absolutely have. You absolutely have. But there are times when we're not supposed... We're supposed to be deadly serious. Excuse. And it's, um, it comes across as being um, funny when we're not, we're not supposed to be. <laughs> we just have a nice time, that's yes. all. Oh, hello, nice Dorothy. Time. Lovely to watch you too. <laughs> not that I can, but I would if I could. Um, and Lisa as well. Oh, I love you ladies. That's nice, that's isn't it? That's very nice. We need all the help we can get and all the friends we can... Oh, no, that's a good point. Ah, talking of friends and likes. Because we're on pages, you have to like our page or follow our page. And during this next four weeks, because you know it's... I know today is Monday, but it's going to be Sunday morning after this week because Abigail had to do works. Are you going on the metal plate now? No, we'll do in a second. Saying, I'm just, just making sure it fits. I can do that because she's my daughter. Yeah, I have to be, so. I have to be told. <laughs> so, anyway, the object of the exercise is to get our page, page likes up to 5,000 and 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I have been doing it for five years, so I kind of, actually you're nearly coming up to a year. Yeah. So we're about equal dibs. Hello, Sally Bibby. <laughs> Hi, Sally. <laughs> Yeah, only a year. How many years have you been doing it? About just Tw over five. Twenty-five years. Well, stitching, near sixty, nearly nearly sixty, nearly sixty years, which is a bit naughty. I can't say that <sighs> without a sign. Anyway, yes. So anyway, we're getting up to five thousand and one thousand likes on our pages, and there's a reason for that because we've got the most amazing giveaway. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. Other than it's going to be worth watching that last, that last, that last. <laughs> I drop everything. Facebook Live, um, and then we will reveal all. But you have to be watching on that last Facebook Live to be in with a chance to win it, and it's going to be a really big prize. So, That's looking forward just to that. The so, hello, Wendy. I'm looking at my phone here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, um, <laughs> hello, Doreen. She says I can't find it either. Oh. What did we say was lost? Did we say anything was lost? Maybe I'm Doreen, come, come back to us about what you can't find. Now look, if you look. haven't received... Oh no! 
If you haven't received your... Hold on, you talk, I'll adjust. Yeah, we'll pretend that's not happening. If you haven't received your bag dies yet, they're, they're, I know they're going to be with you shortly. And the thing is, you're going to be well ahead of the game because you're going... You, we've done so many video tutorials now, um, official and unofficial, that you're going to be well ahead of the game. Likewise with the nesting dies, because I had these on Hochanda the other day, um, and they absolutely were cooking a storm and I'm going to be cutting these very very shortly um, and these nesting dies are absolutely super they've been they've been rejigged some from where we knew them before about 18 months ago they've been rejigged slightly so for instance um, the the largest square is a five inch square so that's great for cutting your charm packs um, and then they go down by a quarter of an inch and then with the circles, I believe it's just over <laughs> half an inch. <laughs> Lindsay, that? love live, never know what's going to happen. I oh, know, that's a fact. You're quite right. The um, triangles are a quarter of an inch as well. The hearts are half an inch, and as is the hexagon. So for English paper piecing and all that jazz, then again, absolutely great. And they have been rejigged. Well, most of them have been rejigged for you. So making it super, super easy, which I which I just absolutely love. Well, we love ease, don't we? We do. We do. <laughs> we do. Well, we're very busy. We're and very I'm, busy. And I think as we, you know, going through, you know, three children on this side, one retired o OAP at home and a dog. <laughs> That's enough to fill your day. Um, you know, we want quick, yeah. but we, I think it's more about want quick to get to the point where we're going to stitch. Yeah, we don't want to be... Cutting is the boring part. It is a bit. And so we want ease, we want quick. Yeah. Thank you. And, and accurate. Yes. More, more than anything. Ooh. And I think those of you that have tried our Gemini dies and have tried the machine and all of that. Now, which hinge bag... Hinge and bracket too. No, I mini hinge. She's mini hinge. I mini hinge. It's hinge and mini hinge. Yeah. Because we can't possibly steal um, Brackett's name from Brackett, which is Rosella, of course. Yeah, and, and Rosella calls me min, uh, Mini Hinge. Mini Hinge. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So... Hello, Mini Hinge, she says when I see her at the studio. <laughs> she, oh, she's got a lot to answer for, that girl. So I say, hello, Rosella. Actually, I sometimes refer to her as my work mum, because if mum's not there and Rosella's there, um, I like to think that she would keep me in check also. She, she absolutely would, because she keeps me in check. You know, if I, if I go off the rails, <laughs> which, you know... It's funny because, um, we've, you know, we've done been doing the road show and we've been to Chesterfield, Newton Aycliffe and then Evesham and... Wonderful time we had at Eve's, all of them, but the last one was a bit sad, really. <laughs> Perhaps hinge and unhinge. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right, that so... <laughs> I ought to be the unhinged one, really. But no, um, seriously, um, with, with, with Rosella, um, I chose the most amazing fabrics at Newton Aycliffe in the store. If you've ever if you get a chance to go to the stores, they're, <laughs> they're absolutely... F and they've just had some new fabrics delivered. And I was, one of the girls at Evesham, Lisa... Uh, hi Lisa if you're watching um, she was she was cutting up some of the fabrics to go into fat quarter bundles oh my goodness me I could have had absolutely every single one of them anyway I digress so I was I was choosing some lovely fabrics from Newton Aycliffe and I took them back to our little corral where we were sitting lovely and the Zella said well you'll have to take those back <laughs> so I said why is that then well, she said they're awful together and what were you thinking Oh, oh, see. What have you been eating? Only a true what have you friend, been taking? Only a true friend would say that. <laughs> yeah, but she knows I'll just go, all right then. <laughs> all right, I do as you say. So actually, what I said was, here, you take them back and go and choose me some. See, that's a good idea. So she did. And didn't but, she get the same? No. <laughs> I saw it on Facebook, didn't she get the same? No, no. She No, ah, no, she, there was some the same, but then she re, re chose my oh, selection. Oh, I see. So what Abigail's doing, because you can't see, I don't think, is cutting the outside fabric. This is the boring The bit. lining, yes, I was we chatting, um, to make this scooter bag. Yes. You told them that's what it's going to be. It's a scooter bag. So you know the scooters for the kids. This is a bag that's going to go on the front with a drawstring so that all your dinosaurs and your rocks and... Things. Things, yeah. Well, if you're a totals. girl, it'll be flowers. Or it and... might still be dinosaurs. <laughs> Yes, okay. and rocks. Yes, all right. I accept that. And twigs. 
bits of things and yeah that. but that's the thing especially like if you go to country parks and such like i don't want to be carrying all those things in my handbag no thank you very much no, no. so <laughs> there's my lining pieces are done now. lovely lining have you got any more die cutting to do just by wadding and i only did it separately because yes yes yes, yes. i had my fleece I had off cuts of fabric of this and I, I needed to get it completely right. Yes. So I would, I could have done all that in all three layers. I could mm. have done the fleece, the wadding and the lining and then the fleece, the wadding and the lining. But I didn't, only because, as I say, I was using scraps and I needed to get them exactly the accuracy. right. Mm. Um, and I didn't want to risk that. And, you know. and, and I have to say, so no, oftentimes, because I get, <coughs> excuse me, I get the three folds and then I put my die over the top and sometimes... I haven't quite got them all parallel to, together. Yeah. And so sometimes my wadding has been either a little bit too small or a little bit too big, just by a millimetre. And if you're using scraps, like I was, yes. you don't, you can't risk doing no. it incorrectly. So no. it's best just to, you know, it's Take 18 seconds to go through. Mm. So really we're not, we're not saying spend an hour cutting them precisely. Gwen says, which one are you cutting? I'm cutting the hobo bag. Because I, th yeah, am I? I don't know. Yes, I am. The hobo bag, but with no flap. Um, because it's just going to be like a little pocket um, that's going to be a drawstring and then loops to loop over the, the scooter handlebars and clip on. I think it's going to be awesome. Whether we finish it, I doubt. No, but no we, pressure. We, we will be talking it through, um, certainly. So to, well, just to I make sure. Once I get these cut, you can start cutting your bits and pieces mm. that you want to cut. And I mean, if necessary, I can come up with a pattern for it, and we'll put something together and put it on the website. Yes. And then everybody can. We'll fin and we'll finish it regardless, and we'll post a picture. Oh yeah, because you know it has to go on Sebastian's scooter now. Yeah. Isn't that mm. fun? What a great idea! I love it. Let's have a look. That was my. That was Adrienne's idea. Oh, <laughs> Diane says I thought the scooter was going in the bag. Ah, no, ah, no, no. <laughs> well, unless it was a Lego one. <laughs> yeah. A Lego scooter would go in. Yeah. You wouldn't be in this if it was that size because I'd be like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point, Diane. I think that's lovely. Yeah, perhaps I should have specified it's not a scooter in a bag. No, it's a Bag Excuse on me, a it's a bag for a scooter. I've got a little tick on That's okay. Uh, what is the machine? This is the Gemini. Are we talking about that machine? Yes. Let's come back to us if we if you're not. Uh, got my bag dies every day and it's wet. Oh, waiting for the glitter fabric. Oh, the happy hour deal yesterday with oh. me. Oh, now. I stuff. didn't know we were going to have that glitter fabric and I saw it on the side. What bag. Do you, what do you bag. Require? Glitter bag. <gasps> This happens. No, you didn't know, did you? Because no, I didn't, you didn't know. tell me. No, and I didn't tell anyone. And um, and then I saw it. And then when I didn't know what the price was, we anything. don't know. We don't. And so when when um, Charlie said it's for all, te you know, it's ten pounds something for all three. Well, I I said so. What? <coughs> Sorry. It <laughs> doesn't happen very often. It happened Not once with me a couple of months ago. Because every now and again you get a super deal, and I always say you should really watch out for some of these shows, um, because you just don't know. No. What the sometimes the happy hour deals are absolutely phenomenal. I really mean that. And sometimes prices change as well, mm. so it's can, it's even a better deal before it goes. We go yeah, on, yeah, um, which is quite, quite wonderful. So right, so you've cut all your pieces out, Abby. Yeah, so you've me. cut out your your wadding and your lining. And this is a lovely fleece. Where did you yes. get this from? Oh. Was it an Ikea one? I'm sorry to be branding. It's from a craft room. Someone's, <laughs> someone's craft room. <laughs> so we've got all the pieces. And you know what? It's, it's almost like it's going to be like a kangaroo pouch, isn't it? Exactly that. Exactly and you can that. pop things in the front. I think it's amazing. Now, I would actually use my rotary cutter for this, but... Do you want I'm... me to cut it? Go on then. Oh. I want two, <laughs> yes, please. two and a half inch strips. I want them five inches long, please. Okay. Uh, there you go. Right. Got a, have you got a ruler handy? Oh. Do you know what? Now let me tell you something. Uh -oh. I do. Just Good. use the back of that. Yeah, but I need a ruler. Oh. A ruler to cut against. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's in here. Bear with. Bear with. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? 
Two and a half oh, yeah. inch strip. So a while ago, I thought that someone, before the um, cutting mat had launched, I thought someone had pinched my... Um, borrowed. Pinched. I thought someone had pinched borrowed. my mat. And I found it today. Did you? Yes. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> found it. And so then I felt guilty that I had internally False, accused falsely accused I, I didn't have anyone in particular in mind Do, just, was it i'm just making sure her mat's clean you know you can use stick away for cleaning your mat i know but i haven't pinched that off you yet borrowed so let's have a look we're going to do a two and a half inch strip so what's this this is for? my mat holder oh. and i use zip on a roll for this that's nice so there's my ruler do you think that's cool? Yeah, I do. And it's reversible. Just... I love cotton tail fabric. Yeah, me too. But this holds in, and I carry all sorts. I put my mat in there, my ruler in mm. there, and then I fill it with all my gubbins. It's always good to have some gubbins. Yes. Right. So is this going to be your channel? No, this is the two tabs at the back that I'm oh, going to attach okay. the Velcro to. Oh, okay. Yeah, because then I need another piece for, for the, the channel. channel. Yes, okay, let's have a look. Um, so let's have a look. Sharon says, I love the glitter fabric bag you've made. Now I've now I've got my bag dies and <laughs> glitter fabric. Guess what I'll be, I'm assuming, doing. I suppose I could read that. Yeah. Um, Louise says, hi Lizzie and Abby. Did you see my bag I made using threaders yes. fabric? Yes, Louise, we did. Thank you very much. Fox in it was the wood. Amazing. We love fox in the wood. Yeah, we absolutely do. Now look at this. So in Asta, I picked up this skipping rope, and it was a pound. Okay. Oh, really? And this is what I'm going to use in the channel for my drawstring. I'm going to obviously chop off these bits, uh, but this is what I'm going to use because it and there's all sorts of colours, um, and it's only a pound, and I think this would do a good couple of bags. I think it would actually. This is a nice sharp blade. Oh, yeah, because I've got two of them. That's two, my best one. A two cutters? Yeah. How did you get two Because cutters? I thought someone had accidentally borrowed my mat. Oh, I see. So they come in a pack. So I said, please, please. Can I have Whoa. another one? <gasps> Can I just say, Abby will never make a set dresser. I don't want her to put her name down for set dressing. All Actually, right? they do move everything when I set it up at Hodge Handle. They do move it all. Uh -huh. Did surprised. anyone catch the moment yesterday oh, don't. when I dropped don't. something? Don't See? tell everybody. You should never own up. Never confess. Never confess. Now, is that going to be long enough for two tabs? That's far too long. Oh, good. That's plenty then. <laughs> so that could be a channel or a tab. Well, I'm, yeah. the channel, now to measure the channel, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my bag. Hold on, I'm going to tilt you. Yes, need Rose Barn to set dress, Sal. Yes, we do. <laughs> At least we know we can rely on the professionals. <laughs> right, look. Rose Barn is beautiful. Right, here we go. Look, this is how I'm going to measure my channel. So I need it to go all across the back, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm going to need it all across the front. Yes. And then I need two areas there. No, then I need two um, bits extra on the end for my seam allowance so that I can fold it over and it's neat. Brilliant. So let's say roughly that, and that's going to be my channel. So would you mind chopping roughly about there for me? Certainly. I'll just steady my legs. Uh, Suzanne loves your necklace. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Do you know I've had this ever such a long time, but it, every now and again, and this time of year with these colours, yeah. it works beautifully. It works lovely with that top. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Can you cut this for me, please? What would you like me to do? Neatly. Neatly. Don't, don't. I'll try and do this. Uh, don't be going crazy. Right, come on, we've got to speed up. Don't We're be going waffling. Rogue. We're waffling. We're waffling. Come right, on, so quick. the first thing I'm going to do is cut. I'm going to... What's, what's this? What's this? I don't know. You need a tunnel, channel. This is <laughs> tunnel, channel, channel, channel. <laughs> I'd be very wealthy uh, if I owned the channel, tunnel. I have to say. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to um, fold this over at both ends, and I'm going to just top stitch this uh, to make a really nice end for my channel. There we are. You got another piece there. Just no. In these case. are too big. Yeah, but, oh. They're just. I need them this long. What the tabs? Yeah, but yeah. I was doing the. Um... I've got the. Ch I've got the tunnel. Is that enough? Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, see, that's, oh, that's excellent. Yeah, see, right, let's <sighs> move in my machine. So, so what are you going to do now? What do you want? These four inches long. Yeah. So I'm top stitching the two ends of the the tunnel Start again. 
I'm top stitching the two ends of the tunnel so that I've got a nice um it's about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, oh definitely a quarter of an inch. Super. So these are these are the straps, aren't they, that are going oh no. Yes, they're, they're these are the straps. They're gonna go oh no, no, no maybe they're a bit short. They're a bit short, man. Just one moment. Try again. Please. Here yeah, look. Okay. So if you think we've got to have it so it's like this, so yay length. About eight inches then. Yeah, that's what I said the first time. Right. Oh my head! Top, my no head's problem. gone. So, okay, um, I'm stitching this. Come on, get going. I'm going to go for eight inches. Okay. That is absolutely perfect. Launch. So, what, can you tell everybody again what you're doing, please? I'm making a bag to go on a scooter. Not yep. in a scooter, <laughs> not around a scooter. Diane will be kicking herself now, thinking, what a fool. No, you won't a fool. Do you need any diesel for that? No, it's industrial. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I've got a lovely so elbow. Lovely, that's a lovely stitch there, So it's just to make the end of the channels. I'm going to have to just measure this up, though, because I need it to be... I need them slightly, I know I need them exact now, don't I? So okay, if I do that. Oh, Sue, you two make I'll us laugh. That. She fun bangs it. Oh, it's really awful, isn't it? It's a good job Adrienne isn't here. Adrienne's the, the eldest daughter. Um, and Adrienne's more blonde than me. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, I don't know where she gets it from herself. But... Well, I'll say nothing about that. So I was going to cut um some nesting dies and i was going to be using our plants <laughs> that's very loud sorry did you want girl. to talk <laughs> i think it was at home it's going like this <laughs> so i wanted to cut two of the hearts so it's the two it's the two smallest hearts i was going to cut um, now, if anybody watched my shows the other day, I made um, a really nice wall hanging. I was really quite pleased how it turned out. So I thought I'd cut some hearts, put them on some fabric. I've got my, the back, my fabric strips are two and a half inch um, strips. These are really handy. If you ever get a designer roll, <coughs> might be some... Anyway, if you do ever get a designer roll, then there's so many different things you can do with them. Not only strip piecing, bargello quilting, as we know, um, making quilts, all that sort of thing. Um, you if you can... tuned in earlier, the, the, the quilt that was behind us is made from... Did you not Probably stick that back up? No, I just left it. <sighs> just left it. It's a good job the book title's the wrong way. Anyway, so... Um, so what I've done is I've backed all my strips with um, Heat and Bond, all right? So that's it. I'm not going to even try not to say a brand name. It's because I can just iron it down. And once it's ironed down, I can then do my free motion on it. So it really makes it super easy to make something gorgeous. So I'm just going to run this through the Gemini. Now, it, yeah, even though... Um, Oh my goodness me. Even though we know... We love our design roles. Come on, we just absolutely adore them. You know what? If we go to... Every year, for how many years? 20 years, we've been to yeah. the Knitting and Stitching Show at Ali Pally with um, my mum. My mum, apart from last year, first time ever, she's not organised a coach. And we, we always buy a design roll, charm packs, lady cakes, anything that makes um, stitching super easy um, and just fun. And that, aren't they lovely just to have on the shelf to look at for a, a period yes, of time? Yes, they are. That's what I find. Yeah. I just want to look at them. Yeah. So, um, but, of course, you can still cut these up with a die. So for instance, you know, this <laughs> is, fits perfectly on here. It's like a blended. Um, so I'm going to cut um, some of these out. Why don't you come in a bit? Look, no one can well, see you. Well, I've got you. me wire, you see. I've got me wire. Oh, well, hold on, I'll move the camera. I'll move the camera on. Oh, it's fine. I'm just tucked up the corner. I'm used to being tucked up You the might corner. need to shout now, so I desperately do need to stitch these. Do you want to borrow my arm? No, no. It's very quiet on there. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> well, we can't. That's the <laughs> Makes riveting viewing for everybody. 
it's a stitch along from stitching. So, um, can I have your Gemini plates, please? Thank you. And do you have any masking tape handy? In that top drawer right next to you. Thank you. See that? Is this masking? Oh, so it is. Oh, yes. I usually use the thin variety. Well, I didn't. I picked that up in a pound shop. Did you? A uh, pound for two rolls. That's really good value. Yes. Um, and of course it tears easy. It just sort of makes life a lot easier. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. In a I'm just. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Goodness me. So I'm just laying my dies down on my fabric. And even though it's a really, really long strip, um, I'm just going to cut two lots at the same time. Now, can I just say that I'm cutting um, four layers of fabric and four layers of um, adhesive. So that's eight layers all together. Now, you, you might find that it's a little bit too much. Um, but I, I don't think it will with the Gemini. I think it would be perfectly fine. I'm sure that's what I did before. Now this is going to go through and it's going to be a little noisy because it's so near the microphone. Well, don't worry because I'm about to use my machine. So I'm sure it will drown it out. <laughs> Sign language. <laughs> So my tabs. I was doing sign language. Oh, sorry. All I've done with my tabs is I folded them in half and just top stitched them. There's no messing around. There's no turning so them around. So, did you neaten the ends, or did you just leave those um, raw edge? I have neatened one end. Right. But then I, I stopped. And what I've got is I've got two lots of Velcro, and I'm going to attach one piece of Velcro on each end. Yeah. One on this side. One on that side so that I can turn it round and it will join together on the back of the bag like an A-loop. Oh, I didn't press this, put this through far enough. I'm thinking, why isn't this cut? <laughs> just, I'm just going to stitch on my Velcro. Yeah, all right then. Yeah. I'm going to take that down and do this again. Okay. You do that while I do this. Yeah, okay, we'll do it together. I'm going to do a sign language again. Did you do? Me? Oh. I can hear the change in the, um, in the machine. See, look, there's one of my pieces of Velcro, and then I'm, my machine does not sound rough, Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's an industrial it's machine. It's an industrial machine. It proper, this is why, and I use this for fixing my daughter's hoverboard cart, um, all sorts of things. Yeah. So my other piece of, um, oh, maybe needs a drink of oil. No, it doesn't. I'm going to tell my mum on you lot. <laughs> no, it doesn't, Lindsay. It's 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 an industrial machine. And what see, plan B, plan B. Next week, you'll all be round mine on Sunday morning, and I'm going to stick Abigail up the corner, away from the microphone, because obviously that's all you can hear. I'm be done in a minute. So look, you can see that's cut through beautifully. Four layers plus all the adhesive. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Get told off. There you go. There's my bag. My, there's my tab. Do you see that? One piece, one piece, and then it joins over. That's And then brilliant. I'm going to stitch that onto the back panel of the bag before I pop the lining. Yeah, yeah. So, so you only need to do like one stitch one line of stitching right through yes, the middle exactly so that's dead easy so i've just it? got to do I've, i'm sorry but i've got to stitch through these layers can't hear anything <sighs> but can see the maybe needs needle needs changing no. no it's it's the fact you can and also the phone is right here and the machine is right here so when i'm using the machine that is all you're here yes which is a bit of a shame we should have thought this through so i do apologize i could move the phone a little bit just one moment everybody. Well, do you want to take it over to you while you're um, oh heck no. i switch anybody yeah, don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it <laughs> do an interpretive dance while I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm just feeding these through the Gemini. 
So I'm just cutting a few hearts out. And so, like I said, I'm using two and a half inch strip with heat and bond on the back um, because it just makes it nice and easy to then um, put that onto my fabric. This is the last bit I'm doing with all of these layers. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, thread is going to bring out new fabric. Ooh. Is that where? Is threaders? Oh, I see. Hi, Lily. Um, I don't know if it's imminent. I don't think there's any of this, you know, really, really soon, is there? No. I can think of. Um, oh, no, we've got. Um, we've got the... some in the July. Yes. July, I think, um, Louise, I think is the next lot. Um, because that's that's because we we teased you. If you remember, with the last so inspired eleven, uh, can I bother say this after you, please? Um, after uh, so inspired eleven, we had that peacock paisley, and and that was like a sort of a tease. I mean, in fact, it was probably the most favourite one of the team. So that's why we thought we'd we'd give that to you as a, as a sort of a, a tester, if you like. Um, but I think that whole range comes out. I'm pretty sure it comes out in July. So I think that we've got to wait that long, so. Right, I am now, on my back piece, I have stick and sprayed my wadding on there. And I'm gonna take my tabs and I'm gonna line them up to the back of the bag, like this. And I'm gonna just do a stitch through both of them in the center here, so that they're attached like this, do you see? Just modeling it like this. <laughs> That's very attractive. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, Suzanne, thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne says we, she thinks we're doing great. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Well, it's entertaining. It's well, entertaining. Yes. I mean, you'd be ever so bored on a Monday night. It's probably football, is it? Monday, when they finish. Oh, I don't know, Monday they night finish. football. Is it? Oh. I don't know. Right, I'm just going to do the Gemini. And I'm going to machine at the same time. Happy girls oh, look at that. She... Ready, go. <laughs> I didn't want it to go off the end of the desk. There we go. And I think I've cut enough hearts now. So let's have a look. Diane, oh, yeah, very fetching. Sarah, Sarah says, best entertainment at present. I don't know if you can hear me, Sarah. Hey, I've done, I've done, I've done. Oh, thank goodness for that. I think you ought to pin the rest. <laughs> Scissors, please. Can you do pinning? So... <laughs> We never thought about that. We thought about probably everything else. Right, can I show much. you this? Yes, you may. So there we go, look there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can you hold it so I can do it properly? Just one moment, properly. please, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Sarah, I can hear you fine, but I'm sitting here laughing my head off. Well, hold it with two hands. Oh, so two hands. Right, there we are. Look, there are your, do you see? Like, look, what are we calling them? Straps. Straps. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. My husband's watching the snooker on TV. Oh, the snooker's on. Oh, there you go. to goodness. I can't believe the snooker's on. It's so... Oh, there no. Go. I'm sure those that love snooker are having a wonderful time. Oh, well, Mum's careful now. And John does keep giving me updates. And I nod like that. Like I know what he's talking about. And I, I can't keep up. No. I can't keep up. So look, I'm just going to now just put this onto my fabric, which is which is on the back of my chair. Oh, so we, we'll put the camera on this in a minute, ladies, so you can see. Um, but basically, oh, Jaden's outside. We've just we've got a window in front of us. My grandson is putting the hose away. He's a good boy. He is. Yes. So what I've got is a random selection of hearts that I've been cut. I've, I've cut out now with the with the die cutting machine with the Gemini, using the heart um, dies, and I've done like the small one, teeny teeny one, and the bigger one. And because of the pressure of the machine, they the paper almost comes off the back on its own. So you remember sometimes when we use heat and bond, we have to sort of scratch the back, and. Um, <laughs> Scratch the back and peel it away. Well, with the pressure of the machine, especially going through four layers with all the backing, which is eight layers really, um, because of the pressure of that, it actually peels the paper away much, much more easily. So the idea of this is to actually put the hearts onto the fabric 
and actually make a heart out of the hearts. So you 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 put the hearts down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll yeah. switch the camera around. Oh, it's very close to my face. I about this. There we go, Mum. There we go. Look. Oh, all right. Oh goodness me. Hold on. Oh, hello. We're a bit. Yeah, I can see now. So of course, what you can do is you can make all these hearts look and you can balance them up so you're only using four pieces of fabric it's easy to create this heart shape now where's my pen abby there it is so once we start peeling these away these little ones you see can go in inside they can be put in here like this and what you can do is that you can roughly now if you're not if you're not sort of confident with this then you know you could get a bigger die or you could cut a piece of of paper and do yourself a template um i'm fairly fairly confident with drawing a heart um let me see we just need a nice point there there we go that's not bad oh hello can we are you seeing it yes you're on delay <laughs> on your phone <laughs> so look can you see now i've made a heart yes so with the fabric, because the, all these little pieces will stick in there, and then all I'd have to do is actually machine them. So even though we've got different colours going on here, but I'm just going to pick a few out so we can see um, how, what it looks like. And then, of course, with some of these, I'll leave the paper on for the time being. Some of these you can actually then make into a butterfly, for instance. So if I pick out two that actually match, here we go and move all these ones out of the way. You can bring these together, because I've used butterfly fabric. So can you see how that will oh, look? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, and then you can get your pen and you can actually draw the antennae on. And then you can draw a little butterfly trail. And all of this could be free motion, do you see? And then what we can do is, <laughs> what we can do is, we can do a little, little tiny one in the distance, can you see? And then again, we can do the antennae and then a little butterfly trail. So that's how you build up. Can you show us the die, please? The dies are here. So you'll excuse the paper that's attached to them. So it's the two smallest ones. Oh, yes, lovely. Yeah, so this one lovely. and this one you can see. That's all I've used. So if you think about the potential of all these others so even if you drew around this one and used all the little hearts let me pick one of those up to fill in just that big one that would look absolutely gorgeous wouldn't it it would um, and then iron them down because obviously we've used um uh, heat and bond iron them down so they're sort of nice and stuck rigid and then you can do your free motion and you're just following the lines you're just following the lines oh we've nearly <laughs> nearly up nearly, time is nearly up and all we're doing is following the lines around the actual heart itself i'm going to put the camera back this way so what are we going to do because otherwise everybody's going to be so want to stitch my... oh, I, I tell you what, I won't do any more stitching because it's very noisy, I'm aware. All I'm going to do with my lining, I'm going to attach the two bags pieces together, right side to right side. I'm going to attach my lining together, right side to right side, leaving a gap at the bottom to turn. Okay, when, you know when you put the flap in between the layers? Yes. Instead of doing that, I'm going to take my channel piece, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to pop that in instead of a flap so that it will create the tunnel for my for your rope. rope. Um, and then we will post a picture when it's done. Well, we've got to post the picture because then everybody can see what we've made. And I'll finish mine off tomorrow. Do you want to mention the giveaway again? Oh, yes. So the giveaway. I'm, I'm just having such fun here. I can't pick this up. Uh, we'll, we'll, sh we'll show you this um, before we go. Um, so the giveaway is... Um, this now which is the the cd now the cd is for stitching i know this is backwards too abigail would Why? you like to take the camera and turn it around so we can oh, yeah, see okay. That's a good i'll put it close on your face this oh, time no, please don't <laughs> so there oh. we are Hold is, on. is that better yeah there we are yes is that better so now we can read the writing and we can see that, <laughs> that it's an embroidery cd sorry 
Um, it has over 250 elements on it. And what you do is, and I'm going to show you next Sunday when we launch this, is that you print onto a wash away webbing. Okay, you print on a wash away webbing. There we are. It's paper backed and it has a sticky back to it. And it's like just little like sticky dots. So you'll be able to Put, um, put it onto your fabric and then it just peels off but um, you can actually machine embroider hand embroider and we've got a special tool as well that you can use to actually embroider through the webbing through your fabric and then it will just wash away at the end so it, it really is a fantastic way of transferring images I and mean, we've had our embroidery transfers in the past but this is that next level up um, and I think you're going to absolutely love it. It's really, really easy. As long as you can get some sort of Word document on your PC or whatever implement you use, then you're, you're fine. And obviously you can use a graphics program if you want to. Obviously that makes it super easy. But when you think of some of the designs, let me just show you just, a, just one or two. So when you see some of the designs, now these can be any size. So this particular lovely sort of gerber here could be the size of the A4 piece of cardstock um, or your paper, obviously. So, um, yeah, again, this corner piece could be in enormous. It could be massive. So th or tiny depends on on what you want to achieve. Um, and then when I look, I was looking at the Christmas ones, and we've got some, and, and we've got lots of different categories. Um, so it's going to be really fun. Anyway, so how do we enter the giveaway to win the CD? So how you enter the giveaway is to obviously like our page. So you must like Liz so with Lizzie and so with Abigail. And you must share this video that we're doing just now, this Facebook Live, OK, and put your name down to say you've done that. Um, and then you'll be in with a chance of winning this. And we'll go through all the names tomorrow um, just to make sure um, that it's done properly. We'll probably get one of the grandchildren to do it or perhaps my John will do it and well, somebody will do it. Um, and we'll pick a name out and that's the prize. So and um, perhaps we'll throw in some wash away webbing. I didn't get permission perhaps for that. We will. Hopefully I'll get permission, because that makes sense. So there we are. Look, we've got to wrap it up. I'm always going to be boring you to death. Um, it's been absolute great fun, hasn't yep. it? We've not really achieved anything. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but we will post our makes on Facebook over the next couple of days. Well, I'm going to finish this now. Are you? Yeah. You're not going to help me pack up? No. Not going to help me to the car? No. Some sort of daughter you are. Anyway... <laughs> children are for <laughs> not your children yeah but you are my children your children's children my grandchildren who are in bed asleep now right okay so um night night everybody have a lovely oh, rest Adrian's of your evening just joined. oh adrian you're a bit late. wrong <laughs> wrong <laughs> i'm gonna press the finish button now I'm I'm gonna gonna leave. Leave. yes please okay so night night everybody see we'll see you next week sunday at 11 30 and we'll do something really a bit more serious will we no Possibly not. Probably not. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Excuse Bye. this angle.